Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. You're going to have to forgive me for the long introduction, but I think it's time that we tie everything together. For about half a year now, you've seen me preparing for deployment in the solar-powered field station. You've watched me as I've learned to stay warm and comfortable at 65 degrees north in the winter. You have also seen me become more proficient with voice and data communications, as well as putting together a portable power strategy for the solar-powered field station. But now it's time to introduce you to something you haven't seen on the channel before. I believe this is going to become a critical component to group communications in the field, and definitely an interesting tool that you may want to learn about and deploy with yourself. We're talking about HFAPRS using APRS Messenger. Here's just a few reasons why you might want to use HFAPRS over traditional APRS on VHF. The most obvious benefit is the greater range. With increased range, we don't require as many eye gates. Truly off-grid position reporting for those beyond the nearest VHF eye gate. Off-grid messaging and keyboard-to-keyboard -keyboard chat. Adaptive modes for greater bandwidth or greater range. Complete integration with APRS IS. And something very unique to APRS Messenger is the weak signal and QRP capabilities for messaging over MFSK4. Now this is going to be a long one, but I hope you stick around and learn something about HF APRS and weak signal messaging with APRS Messenger. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign narrative. 